If you want to create more unique designs in Canva Pro, one way is to upload your own fonts. Today, I'll show you how to do this quickly and easily. I'll also give you some tips for dealing with common errors. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent, and today we're talking about how to upload your own fonts into Canva. I'll show you where to get tons of fonts, how to bring them into Canva, and how to use them in your designs. Now currently this feature only works with Canva Pro, so make sure you have a subscription or a free trial. Now first, let's talk about how you can get fonts. One of my favorite places for fonts is Creative Fabrica. They have about 170,000 fonts for you to download with tons of creative styles. Handwritten fonts, vintage fonts, it's all here. And when you have a subscription, you can download as many fonts as you like. There's a sale right now where it's only $4 a month for all access to all fonts and graphics. You can check it out with my link down in the description below. So I'll browse the fonts here and I'll find one that I like. I found this one here called Groovy Summer, which looks pretty cool. You can click through and see the different features of the fonts. They show you the whole alphabet here. So the first step is that we need to download the font to our own computer. So I'll click the download button here. Now you wanna put it somewhere on your computer that you can find. I have a folder on my C drive called fonts. So I'll go to C, fonts, and I'll download the file here. I'll click save. Once the file is downloaded to your computer, you can open that folder. Now the file you download is a zip file. This is the file I downloaded here. You can see it ends with .zip. It makes files easier to compress and move around a bunch of files at once. However, to use the font that's in this file, we have to unzip it. I'll show you how to do this on Windows and Mac. Let's look at Windows here first. So on Windows, find where you downloaded the file, then right click on it. And then you can choose the option that says extract all. I'll click on this, extract all. I got a little window that pops up. I'll just click extract again. And now my file has been extracted. This is my original zip file here. Next to it is a folder. I'll go into the folder. And this is our font file. It says .otf. Now, depending on the font, you might see other files in here too. Some files might say .ttf or .woff. Those are just other font formats. Now, if you're on Mac, unzipping a file works pretty much the same way. Find the file on your computer, double click on it, and the file will be unzipped right next to the original file. Now let's upload our font to Canva, and I'm on Canva here, you can see the website. The key to uploading a font in Canva is that you wanna use the brand toolkit. So over here, I'm going to click the brand button. And once again, this option is enabled for Canva Pro, so make sure you're on that. Now a font is associated with a brand kit. So on the left, you can see these menu options here. The top one is brand kit. Make sure you're selected there. And if you have an existing brand kit and you're comfortable with it, you can use it. I'm gonna create a new one here for this video. So I'll click on add new over here and I'll name my brand kit. I'll just call it Trent brand and I'll click create. A brand kit is a way you can associate all sorts of colors and images with your brand and also fonts. So I'll scroll down here. Now next to fonts, you can see this word that says add new. I'll click add new. And then I'm gonna say upload font. And this is the part where we upload the file we just unzipped. Let me click choose files. I'll go to my fonts folder, into this folder here. And I'm gonna click the OTF file and I'll click open. It gives you a little message here, making sure you have the rights to use the font. You can just say yes, upload away. And now you'll see that the file is uploaded. We get a little preview here. It's kind of small, but that looks like the font we chose. I'll close this window. By the way, if you'd like to see more videos on Canva, leave a like down below. It helps me know what types of content my viewers want to see. And if there are any specific Canva topics you want to learn about, feel free to leave a comment down below. Now let's use our font in a design. I'm on the Canva homepage again. I'll click create design. The type of design doesn't really matter. I'll just create something custom. I'll make it 20 by 10 inches. And now I have my canvas here to work on. So first let's add some text. So I'll click text and I can click add text box. I'll make it bigger. I'll just center it. I'll call it my cool text. Now make sure you have your text selected here and then you can click this little drop down over here to change the font. So I'll click that. And now on the left, we have all our font options. Now in order to see the font that you just uploaded, you need to select the right brand kit. So right now I have another brand kit selected. It's called brand kit. I'm gonna click this drop down arrow here and I'm gonna click the Trent brand kit. So I'll click that and I'll say select brand kit. Now under uploaded fonts, I actually see the font I just uploaded. So I'll click on that and the text got changed to what I just uploaded. I can resize this here. Now, if you want your font to look cool like it did in the demonstration, you can go back to the Creative Fabrica page. I like to right click on this image and say copy image. Then you can go back to Canva. I'll press Control V. I'll move the image over here. And now if my font's selected, I can change the color of it. So I'll click this rainbow here. I'll click the color picker. And then we have this little eyedropper. I'll click that. And then I'll click on the thumbnail over here. So I changed my font to the same color as the demonstration here. 
You can also add a border by clicking effects. And I'll click outline. I can change the thickness of the outline. I could make another example of text. I could copy my text. I'll hold alt, click and drag. So I can make this one look like this color here. I'll click the color there, text color. I'll choose the color picker, click the eyedropper. Let's get that going there. Maybe the outline is actually black and not this other color. So once again, I'll go to effects. And for outline, I'll change the outline color. Once again, we can click the color swatch there. Use the eyedropper. Let's get that color there. One of these brown colors we'll choose. And there we go. We can change the text so it looks exactly like the thumbnail if we want. Groovy summer. So that's how we bring a font into Canva. Now let's look at some errors you might run into during this process. On the brand kit, you might run into an error if you upload a file of the wrong type. So I'll click add new, upload a font. I'll choose a file. Now here I'll select the zip file and I'll click open. But actually this gives me an error. You shouldn't be uploading the zip file. You should be uploading one of the files inside of it. And that will be one of these formats down here. Typically it'll be OTF or TTF. Another problem is that you may be uploading a color font. Here I have some examples on Creative Fabrica. Color fonts are a new font type that support multiple colors within one font. They're pretty cool, but unfortunately right now they're not supported in Canva. So if you see one of these fonts with lots of colors in it and you upload it to Canva, things won't actually work. Hopefully someday in the near future, color fonts will be supported in Canva, but today they aren't. Another problem is not seeing your font in the list down here. Remember to make sure you have the right brand kit selected. In this case, I have my cool brand selected, which doesn't actually have any fonts in it. If I click this drop down and I select the Trent brand kit over here, I'll click that, select brand kit. Now I can actually see the uploaded fonts. So make sure you have the right brand kit selected. And finally, sometimes you do everything right and a font just doesn't work for some mysterious reason. If you think you've done everything right, perhaps try another font that looks similar to the one you're trying to use. Unfortunately, sometimes there's just random errors that make a font not work on a particular system. Now, another thing people like to use Canva for is to make seamless patterns. If you wanna learn the easiest way to make seamless patterns in Canva, check out my video on that topic. I'll provide a link right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.